Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of Dark Souls 2, The Scholar of the First Sin. Let's see where adventure is going to be taking us next. So in our last episode, we worked our way through the memories of the giants. And now we're going to be heading on over to Vendrick, and that is in the Undead Crypt. Right by the Undead Ditch. Always an interesting encounter with Vendrick. Let's see, what do we have as far as our setup here? Dark Orb, Resonance Soul, should be okay. Probably primarily going to be using our Spear. At least in the beginning, and we'll see how it goes from there. Come all of the lovely mages. And then we're gonna go right over here. And there we go. Of course, right where we fought Belstead. And there's Vendrick just kinda chillin'. <laughs> he will leave us be until we start attacking him. Do we go in here yet? Examine. Okay, so we can check this out first. That's kind of cool to see a little bit of Vendrick before we take on Vendrick. Seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. I am Vendrick, ruler of Drang Lake. As flame rises, so does it fade. Such is the way of things. Do you intend to link the fire? Then you must first take the throne. Prove your worth. Find the ancient crowns. Seek adversity, and they will be yours. And your wishes, granted. And your wishes. Okay, that is his dialogue for right now, and Vendrick is a pretty cool looking character actually. You can see his sword right here, his shield, and he's just kind of waiting his life out at the moment. And your wishes granted. And you can see Belsed right there. <laughs> kind of shows you the past a little bit. Getting a lot of endurance right now. Be very careful and kind of stick to his left side. Of course, he jumped. <laughs> Take a little bit of space here. a little bit of space. Definitely a fight about patience. Just taking your time. Oh boy. Definitely 
definitely don't want to rush. Because one hit can kind of ruin your day. About halfway through here. Plotting along. And of course you need the giant souls equipped to do any amount of damage to Vendrick, otherwise you will do next to nothing. Okay, let's get some space again. God. <laughs> so aggressive. <laughs> oh. Switch sides on us. Okay, we're getting closer. There we go. And that is Vendrick. Now, does anything else happen after we kill Vendrick? As far as dialogue. I don't think so. I think the next portion of dialogue from Vendrick will come after we get all of the crowns. And your wishes. Yep. Okay, so we'll talk to Vendrick a little later. Always, in fu always a fun fight, though, because there's so much tension. Anytime one or two hits can end a fight, it always has to make you play a little carefully. Okay, let's travel on over next to Shrine of Amana. I'd like to say the Crumbled Ruins is where we want to go. Okay, we want to have our bow on for this one. Take out some of those mages. Because there are a lot of them. Dark Orb. And there we go. That's one down. I want to jump over here. Oh, goodness, there's one over there somewhere. Okay. Should do it. 
There we go. Well, there's that big knight that we <laughs> didn't run into last time. He's just kind of hanging out. Oh, we're out of arrows. Go figure. <laughs> okay, we've got the fire arrows still, though. And, of course... Let's see, is she too far away from us? Oh, we can get her from here. And one more should do it, and good, okay. Twinkling Titanite. And we have to get all the way over here. Over that way. Oh, can we take her off from right here? Oh, she's just out of range. There we go. Radiant life gem. Okay, let's light our torch. Just so we can better see this area. And go right over here. I believe we have been human formed to open this door. Yes, okay. Have to take an effigy real quick. And of course, Soul of a King. The great soul beckoned the dark overwhelming the king. Perhaps this king, who once ruled the world of men, was a lacking vessel for the true throne. Soul of Vendrick, king of Dranglaic. I don't think his soul leads to anything for our playthrough. Just because we are involved in hexing and everything. And of course his outfit set, and his crown. Crown of Vendrick, King of Dranglaic. What makes a king? Some say it is birthright, while others call it destiny. Perhaps it is not important as long as the king's name serves to unite his people. And his outfit. And it's the same description. So pretty awesome. Quick look once at something. With that, I think we're done with this whole section. So now that pretty much leaves us ready for the end of the game if we so chose. 
so chose. <laughs> if we wanted, we could head on right over and take on Nishandra. Of course, that cuts out so much fun content. Because we have all the DLCs to look at, as well as potentially Dark Lurker. Still not sure if we want to go through that again. But... I think the next step we have is taking on the DLCs. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we need. Okay, awesome. So let's head on over. I think we'll do Frozen Ilium Lois first, just because the Dark Clutch Ring is there, and that should provide us some more damage output. And for that one, we have to go to the Ruined Fork Road. Okay, not that one. I think it's this way. Okay, Golden Falcon Shield. Oh, we didn't even see you come from behind. <laughs> nice bloated hollow attack right there. The cool thing is that souls don't really matter too much to us anymore. We're at level 150, pretty much set as far as our character is concerned. So death holds a little different meaning now. Okay, into the Shrine of Winter we go. Always a cool time in the uh, frozen Helium Lois. Like, it is gorgeous in a barren, desolate, frozen kind of way. <laughs> like, just kind of breathtaking. Truly. Truly, truly, truly. And of course, I love how the snow covers your character. Like, that is, that's just awesome. <laughs> Yeah, let's open the door. Light the bonfire. Okay, just to kind of keep these all kind of organized, I think this will be our last part of this episode. And then in our next one, we will start exploring Frozen Ilium Lois, which is taking all the sights in for a moment. It's kind of cool because we'll be over there, and we'll be over there, and over there, and over there. <laughs> awesome. And with that, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and we'll be talking again real soon.